Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to episode 13 of the Reserve Team Podcast. We've got a pretty cool one for you. Got a couple guest hosts on the podcast for the first time. And uh, we kind of break down the last weekend of the English Premier League season, as well as uh, jumping into some NBA playoffs talk. So hope you enjoy. Started. So let's just let's just go straight into English Premier League. Um, last, last weekend of games, a lot of implications, a lot of games that mattered. It was exciting. It's always fun when, when the last week matters and, and means things. Um, let's start with Alex. What, what were your initial thoughts and takeaways from, from that last week? Um, so we actually had a game that, uh, that morning at like 11. So I could, I wasn't be, uh, able to watch any of them. So like, after I was like, please say Tottenham were losing, please say Tottenham were losing. Cause that was our only shot. As Arsenal fan, we only shot to get into like the new conference league or whatever. But luck or we fell short, which is what I think we deserve, IMO. But uh it's nice to see like Leicester and West Ham kind of getting the Europa League spots and Tottenham. I mean, they kind of deserve that, but there was some kind of shots, you know, Newcastle finished mid table when they they were what well, they were gonna get relegated at one. Yeah, close. yeah. But Arsenal Loney, Joe Willett came and saved them. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know. The last day kind of like besides it was just like that, like four through eight spot was like the big ones. And it did go until like the last couple of minutes. And a lot of the games I, I saw the video of Tuchel uh looking at his players going, We're good, <laughs> we're fine, like no, no worries, even if we're down. So like, yeah. But as an Arsenal fan, it was what we deserved, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> so uh, United was kind of set in the table, but Max, any any thoughts yeah. that, that came your way after watching the game or looking at scores and stuff? Um, yeah, like you said, the United game didn't really um, do anything because it didn't really matter to anyone. But I was really hoping Chelsea would bottle it. I was really hoping <laughs> Leicester would pull through. But it sucks that they lost to Tottenham. Bale came on and what twice yeah seriously um yeah i'm happy that west ham is finally going to get european competition they kind of de- they, they deserved it after this season especially how jesse lingard and everyone has been, has been playing um uh, as i kind of i guess as an arsenal fan too was hoping they would get some form of european competition but tottenham got it but yeah i mean it was a really intense last day for the prem one thing that stood up to me too, or one thing that was like nice to see, you know, Premier League legend Aguero's leaving. It's yeah, nice for him to get two goals on his left. No, he beat Rooney's got- record. Yeah. Oh well, two goals last twenty minutes. Yeah, that was nice to see. At least they killed Everton. <laughs> yeah, they they murdered Everton. Um, but yeah. it sounds like Leicester City let us all down. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> especially you. I was gonna yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching the game. I was actually at brunch. And so I had the phone in my lap, you know, kind of peeking down. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Vardy gets a pin, so I had to go inside and watch it. And I gave him this pump. And it's yeah. really fun. And it, then he gets another pin, and I'm like, come on, boy. Come on. Mm-hmm. So then the own goal just kind of started that that downfall collapse. Yeah. Michael misses a punch, and it just goes right in. Yeah. And as you mentioned, Bale comes on, makes something happen. Yeah. It was it was mm-hmm. very frustrating, you know. My hopes were up, but in all in all honesty, it, Lester for Lester it shouldn't have come down to that last weekend anyway. You right, dropped yeah. points to Southampton and Newcastle in your last five, like, you know, if they if they don't care business in those games, yeah. And and it's mm. just frustrating because that's that's two years in a row where they've spent the majority in the top four, and then within the last yeah. week or so they just kind of peter out and. So it's 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 I mean it's promising and it's, and it's nice to see them still in European football, but I think Brendan Rodgers and the boys they got to take that next step. I mean, it's, right. it's, an, it's another another level to be in that top four, and I think Liverpool showed that they're still they're still a very good side mm-hmm. with uh, all the injuries they had. I was gonna say it's nice to I'm not even gonna try and like you know take anything away from Leicester or like West Ham, but. Looking at the bigger picture, it's kind of nice having like Liverpool and Chelsea in there. I think especially that, especially just, with, with everyone coming back from injury from Liverpool they, too. They just have players like like I mean Colin Van Dyke was out a whole season. Mane was not playing like himself. Like yeah, but to be fair though, Leicester Leicester could have could have had a decent run in Champions. Yeah, if like yeah. in group stage. Yeah, but 
I guess like we'll it. never know. I mean, just imagine imagine if Chelsea would have got Europa League. They're in the Champions League final this year. Like, I don't know. I think I think like where it ended for the most part, like everything looks good. Like I'm looking at the table right now. I am too. <laughs> everything looks good. I can't I didn't realize Everton fell. I was really about to say I didn't know Everton got 10th. But yeah. I mean, in, in their last five games, it looks like they lost two and, and drew one. So yeah. it didn't, they didn't end in great form. So yeah. But if, yeah. if, if you're looking at it, though, look at Arsenal's last five games. <laughs> all all green. All dubs. <laughs> Crazy. Dude, good for Leeds. They got top ten, too. Yeah. They, they finished strong, too. Yeah. Four wins to end it. I think, I think Leeds is an interesting side. I love the – I actually love and hate the way they play. Like, if my right. told me to play that way, I would be like, no, no, no. Yeah. But like, but watching their games, everything's so open. It's fun to watch. It's they exciting. Watch. Yeah. Because it's nonstop. They literally just keep running. I was watching a, be a zero zero game. Like, ever. Yeah. Never. I was watching a, I was literally like today, I was watching a video, Dan Ailing or Luke Ailing. That's his name. Luke Ailing, the right back. Uh, he was doing a, something. I forgot the the company he was doing it with just like a Q&A and they asked him so they play a game called murder ball I saw that I yeah saw on that. every Wednesday where they Wednesday. literally just you just play and the coaches yell at you the whole time you sprint no <laughs> breaks you just play so it's, it. it's 10 minutes yeah of non-stop game if the ball goes out there's another there's a coach waiting there with another ball to hand oh, you okay. no fouls no yeah. stopping oh. to play like anything goes and it's 10 straight minutes of everybody just sprints and he said that gives them more fitness than like 110 minutes of of match time right like could you imagine our manchester side playing murder ball (laughs) (laughs) we'd be done in two minutes we had so many wimps on our team that i was gonna say we'd be done in two minutes yeah you need to have kids puking or kids injured. Like, yeah. yeah. Or, and, then, and then half the kids would be crying, well, that was a foul. Well, that was a foul. So murder ball. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, that was my immediate thought. Like, I was like hey, that sounds like something that I would enjoy. But yeah. then I was like, you also have to have like, that takes a certain team dynamic for everyone to be bought in. Like, obviously, right. there's no fouls, but like, that doesn't mean we're going studs up into every right. Time. Yeah, you got to trust in everyone and be aware that they won't foul you every time. Right. You're still teammates, but yeah. Yeah, I, I saw that, that and that was really cool. Yeah. So That's maybe uh, future uh, coach group teams will be playing. Oh, right. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh. And then the bottom three Fulham, West Brom, Sheffield. Expected. I was really hoping. Fulham, <laughs> I was really hoping Fulham would stay up. I kind of. I enjoyed watching them play, but I, I, I thought it was. I like. Be- I like Scott Parker, but his team is just so pat bad. <laughs> I just. I think that I, they. I think they. I was gonna say I think they gelled well at towards the end of the season, but then I'm looking at it. They got. They lost four of their last five. <laughs> so. <laughs> So I'm, I'm kind of looking at the table here, and there's a couple disappointments for me that stand out. Is there are there any teams that you're like, like we've kind of talked about, like oh, good for Leeds, you know, they're top ten. Are there any teams in the bottom half of the table that you're like, I really expected better from this season, and you know, maybe you think they'll do better next year, or you know, Wolves. Yeah, if anything, Wolves are. But that a big hit was Jimenez getting injured. So and, and Joe. And- and Jota, and Jota leaving. And it'll be interesting with Nuno leaving and the uh, Alex, who is it? Not Benfica, Porto. It's Porto's manager. Yeah. We're targeting. It'll be interesting to see how well they do next season. I th- but I think, no, you go, you go, you go. I think Southampton's another shout. They had a That's lot of injuries. They've too. literally had so many injuries and put so much faith into their youth. Like, do you remember the at, at Old Trafford, the, the youngster got a red card immediately? Like that's oh, yeah. that's your Premier League debut. So oh, yeah. I think Southend have have a good team when they're strong. So I'd reckon that they would probably finish. Like literally, it should have been probably looking at it, like Newcastle and Southampton switched. Twelfth. Yeah, 15. yeah. But like, I feel I'm happy for like Villa and stuff. I think if Jack Grealish wasn't injured or didn't get injured for a good little amount of time, they would have been a little higher. But. It, Everton, it, Everton's probably disappointing too because they were on fire at the beginning. Yeah, they were. They were cooking for a good bit. Cover Loon was scoring everything. Yeah, he was. And then Sheffield. I mean, last year they were. They yeah. almost got, they yeah. almost got European competition. 
I know. Yep. Now look at him. Like, jeez. Negative 43 goal differential. <laughs> That's so cool about soccer, though, is like anything can happen on any given day, in right. any given season. Like, that's, I mean, that's why you play the game, right? You don't mm -hmm. you expect certain results to happen. So, yeah. same with West Brom, too, because they hired big Sam Allardyce yeah. <laughs> the first well, time he's ever been relegated. And Sheffield, um, hot or fire or sacked a um, Chris Wilder, yeah, him too. Yeah. So, who's, yeah. who's getting promoted? Uh, it's um, yeah, Alex, that's I, you. I, I should know this. Swansea, Swansea and Brentford are are yeah. playing in the playoff final, and then Nor it's Norwich and uh, Watford. Yeah. Did Kane get uh, most assists too? Yeah, he won both. That's crazy. Ederson won goalie or most clean sheets. Mm -hmm. Surprise, surprise. Um, Just every time Harry Kane touches the ball around 25 yards in, like, it, like – as a as an opposing fan, like I hold my breath because like there's yeah, I was gonna say you, you're scared. You yeah. get scared immediately. I argue with I argue with um certain people. I'll I'll say his name Nathan Hunley. Um, he said <laughs> Hunley does his score tappings and penalties. I said Hunley, if you watch him, he's not fast. No, okay. he will no, literally no. strike the ball outside the box. Like he's so good at finishing, so good, and he's just like oh, he just scores tappings and penalties. I'm like, no, he doesn't. No, I, don't. I mean, he does get his fair share of those, but part of that is so does everyone. So part of that about being a good striker is being in the right spot at the right time. Right time. It happens. Look at Lewandowski and, and being a playmaker too, which is shown in 14 assists, <laughs> beating beating Bruno and De Bruyne. Like, like that's crazy. <laughs> where Where's he end up? What? He... Kane. Where's Kane go? Oh, um, I think. Al Alex and I have talked about this too many times. I say City. I I feel like it's one of the Manchester clubs, but He's, I don't think he'll come to United. He never said himself he would leave, which was interesting. Gary Neville pointed that out because he did that very long interview with him when they were playing golf, and he said he goes he never once said he will leave. But he also he, said that he needed to talk to the owner. I know, but like he never said. <laughs> right. So um, I think I, it'll be City. Madrid, Real Madrid, or people were also giving PSG a shout just because of um, Poch. Poch, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think it's either Manchester because, like, if he goes to Chelsea, is that just dumb? Like, you already have like three okay. strikers, four yeah. strikers. Right. Timo, Timo will be fine. Kai's fine. It's like if he goes to City, I'm not Coach. watching Prem for another <laughs> five years. <laughs> I mean, he might be one of the only teams that can afford him. I heard the price, the asking price, might be upwards of like 150. Like that's what that's what I'm saying. Like who can who can realistically afford him? City, PSG, United, United could, and Real Madrid if they offload a bunch of players like they said they're going to the summer. Max, United so, could. Yeah, but but they just they just extended Cavani. Like, yeah, I was gonna say we they, they won't. But Ole said didn't Ole come out and say like. We're still looking for – I don't know if he said, like, we're looking for a striker, but he's like, it kind of, that doesn't really matter. I mean, isn't he any like coach that. always looking for ways to improve? Like, right. no one's going to be like, oh, yeah, we finished second. We're happy with it. Like I was going to say, too, especially with the way Cavani's been playing recently, like, I'm not – like, obviously, Man United at, or Kane at United would be tremendous. But the way Cavani's been playing recently, like, to cash out 150 mil – I'd rather go get Jaden Sancho, Veron, like spots that need filling. And and that's another debate. Like, is Kane worth the 150 mil? Because there are other players who are going to be 150 mil that you can get way more years out of than Holland. Kane. That's true. Yeah, Holland. But you're also getting Holland. a blind Harry Kane, who you know exactly what you're going to get every night. Right. He's going to bag a bunch of goals and and create like we kind of already said. Right. That's true. see, 150 mil didn't surprise me honestly. <laughs> Like I thought that was like that was a reasonable amount. I don't know about you guys, but I thought that was. I mean, it's a lot, but yeah, it costs more yeah, than Leicester City squad. The... <laughs> oh no! But yeah, where do you think he'll end up? Probably City, honestly. Like that's it's just. Gonna I happen. saw I saw a tweet that was like, so City are running the Prem without a striker right now. Imagine if they get Kane in their team or something like that. I was like, seriously, though. They'll probably just they'll, add Sun on for giggles. 
We'll take them both. <laughs> yeah. so we're going to transition now into uh, some American sporting events. American. Uh, we're going to go to the NBA playoffs. Um, the Bulls, not in it. No big shocker. <laughs> no the Pacers. Obliterated in the playoff game. So, yeah. no biases here. We're all – we're all. Yep. Just, no, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. All our teams are gone. So, this should be a, a fair and uh, – Fair talk, fair debate here. There's, mm-hmm. there's not yeah. much in on it. Um, yeah. Let's just kind of go through every series, and maybe we'll we'll kind of talk about what's happening, and then we'll kind of maybe we'll pick a winner and see, you know, what everybody thinks. Sounds good. So Love let's it. start with Utah and Memphis. Max, I'll, I'll get your thoughts first. Yeah. So that one, that one is weird because we were watching that game last night, and I was like, I didn't know Donovan Mitchell was out until like a few hours before. So then I was like, well, Grizzly could take it. But then I was like, nah, I don't know, though. Like, Jazz Jazz still should beat the Grizzlies, you know, without. But the way John Moran, Dylan Brooks, and and now having Jaron Jackson back. Grayson like, Allen. And Grayson, yeah, Grayson Allen. <laughs> and Grayson Allen, too. But, yeah, I don't know. I think that's going to be a weird series, honestly. I think. It, I think the longer it goes, the more it favors Utah just because of the playing game and Memphis has played games already. Mm-hmm. Right. And the Jazz probably have more depth than Memphis does. Right. I think the longer the series goes, even though Memphis got the first game, I think ultimately the Jazz are probably going to pull it out. Yeah, I was going to say, if anything, Jazz ha- like absolutely need to win this next game. Like absolutely need to win. <laughs> but, yeah, I think, I think Jazz will still take it. Alex? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm in the same boat as Max. Essentially, uh, last we were when we were watching the game, what Dylan Brooks had the night of his, night of his life, making every basket. I swear, man. Um, yeah, Donovan Mitchell's definitely if they have him, different team. And it didn't help that Gobert fouled out last or last night too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if I had to make a prediction, I'd probably go. I'd probably go late series, like a six or seven, but probably still Jazz. Because yeah. I mean. The Grizzlies were good last night. <laughs> they were they were really good. But yeah, I'd probably... I kind of agree with you there. Yeah. Late game, long long series, but Jazz take it. Yeah. Um, let's move into Clippers and Dallas. I think this is an awesome matchup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could go seven games easy. Alex, we'll get your your thoughts first here. Um, Luca Magic. First off, that dude's insane. <laughs> He's literally <laughs> crap. And we got Pandemic P back at it again. My gosh, dude's trash. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what, next game? I think it's tonight or tomorrow? No, I think it's not. No, no, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Uh, I think the Clippers – I think they'll win another home game. Um, Yeah, that – it surprised me, honestly. I was like, okay, Clippers, you lost to them last year, right? The Mavs eliminated the Clippers last year. Yeah. So I was like, come on, like, Kawhi, Paul – same same crew, basically. Got, crew we argue, got Rondo. Like, come on. Mm. Um, I, oh gosh, this one's hard. <laughs> this one's probably a game. This one's this one's definitely going to seven, isn't it? I'm probably gonna go Clippers and seven, if I had to predict. I'm. I just feel like PG and Kawhi. You like, come on, Kawhi Leonard. You got to win it. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. It's a toss up for me because like they already beat him last year. Like. Why can't they do it in another series? You know what I mean? I just don't like see they, it happening again. I, I just, <laughs> I don't. I mean, if the if Luca keeps, uh, okay, if he keeps, when he'll obviously keep comp- uh, performing the way he's performing. But yeah, I don't know. I think I think it'll go to seven, six or seven for sure. Oh man, but I don't know who's gonna win. That's the thing, because <laughs> I think at Dallas they'll win both games. That's the thing. And then, assuming Clippers do win tomorrow, they'll be three-one, let's say. So, uh, I don't know. I'll probably I'd probably say Clippers in seven. I'll go. Probably. I'll go Dallas in oh. six. So yeah, that's. Yeah. I think I think getting that first game is big. They got their number. I I will never bet against Luka Doncic. He is much like Steph Curry. You, you can you never can't. count them out of the picture. I'll like just he's a, so mm-hmm. they're playing full. Pulled stuff from every crack and crevice and orifice and <laughs> everything. <laughs> they got tricks where no one Seriously. has ever seen. So I, I, I'm gonna go with Dallas. 
Dallas in six? Dallas in six. I'm, I I'm like it. If it goes like seven, it. then I think the Clippers win. But if okay. Dallas can can keep it from game seven, I think they win. I agree with you. I agree with you there. You Dallas think- in six or, or Clips in seven? Long shot, long shot here. Um, do you think if Maz win, if Maz win tomorrow, do you think Maz could sweep them? No. Just wondering. Or in five. Maybe five if they win tomorrow. Just, we're just throwing it out there. I'm not saying it's gonna happen. I'm not saying I don't think they sweep. I think the Clippers are too good, they'll get at least one. Yeah. They should. They should true. Yeah, they should, but should win the series. All right. Denver, Portland. Portland's up 1-0 right now. Mm-hmm. I'm, we'll go back to you. All right. I, I say I say Blazers and – yeah, I'm saying Blazers. I say Blazers and – Game time. Um, Game time. Yeah, man. I'm <clears throat> in six. Blazers in six or seven, I think. Just because, I mean, without having Jamal Murray there, it hurts them, like, a lot. Obviously, in a carry, and Jokic now has to carry even a bigger load than what he was originally. And on, arguably, he's the MVP. I think he's the MVP, but arguably, he's the MVP. But I don't know. I just don't think – I just think with Dame, CJ, if Melo was playing like he did the first game, <laughs> like in, in Nurkic back, like I think, I think Blazers should pull it out. Alex? But, yeah, I'm in the same 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 thing as Max. I, I'm a big fan of Dame, so I really want to see him like go far one time. You know that'd be cool. So I think what Max, you said Blazers six or seven? I'll say six. I'll say with the with the firm six. Wow, just can you count? I, I don't know. Can you count Jokic out? I don't know. <laughs> that, I was I'm say, he was cooking. He was Dame, cooking that night. <laughs> playoff Dame is like different too. <laughs> And Melo was cooking. CJ, I'm. I'll probably go. I'm agreeing with Max. Probably. Well, that game seven would be at Denver, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, but they already beat them in Denver. Yeah, you're not. I'm gonna go. Yeah, Blazers in six. I'm joining Max. Wow. I, what do you say? Nuggets. Because I, I I love Jokic. He might be my favorite player. Like hands. Like mm-hmm. even even including Bulls, he might be my favorite player. So. Oh really? Yeah, I love watching him play. Just. It's a he's a big dude that can literally do everything. Point seven. Yep. Yeah, and he, he he might have the best vision out of anyone in the NBA. True. And Honestly. so I but I mean Dame, CJ, that's a that's a lot I'm of sorry. firepower it's in the crew. backcourt. That's a crew. So basically the <laughs> backcourt of Portland against the front court of, of Denver. Yeah. And mm-hmm. in the day and age that we're in, threes beat two, so I'll take Portland in seven. They're gonna they're gonna win it in Denver. Win it in Denver. Game. Mm-hmm. Game over so, Jokic. Although Jokic <laughs> is gonna have like 50 points next time out. So I was gonna say yeah. he's, gonna gonna like, <clears throat> he's gonna average like 35 this series. And with a triple double. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Phoenix Suns against the Lakers. <laughs> Dude, first off, I just want to say all these are so close, actually. It's this is good. This is like actual <laughs> really good. Everyone, I keep saying, I'm like, oh, this is the best series. And then you say another one, and I'm like, well, this could be the best series. <laughs> I haven't yeah. watched the NBA playoffs in like probably five years, and I'm actually watching because this is like fun. So, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Suns and Lakers. Oh. Big Al? Me, Big Al? Oh, God. Well, did they get killed? It wasn't. They didn't get killed. They got beat by nine. I think. Nine? Oh yeah, ninety nine, ninety. Uh, can you count out LeBron? <laughs> Devin Booker was cooking. Oh my gosh. Um, AD was terrible in that game. Yeah, so, I don't know. The Suns looked. The Suns looked really good too, though. I was scared. I was. I thought Chris Paul was injured when he fell on his shoulder or, or that shoulder injury or whatever. But, um, that man gets hurt again in the playoffs. Yeah, true. Dude, he um, left the game twice. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Oh, uh, I'm going Lakers. I'm I'm backing up the King. I know Matthew's going Suns because <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go Lakers win it at NLA in six. All right. Yeah. Okay. Max. Uh, um, I wanna I wanna see what AD was shooting. So I think. With AD, how bad he well, how bad he played, and them only still losing by nine, like 
I don't know. I think if he's on, obviously LeBron will probably be on. And Drummond, too. Like, all of them. So, AD had 13 points. He shot five for 16, which is, yeah. But, like, that's what I'm saying. If he's on, I think Lakers should win it. But I'll say – I say Lakers in seven, though. I think they'll win in Phoenix. I think if it goes back to Phoenix, Suns will win for some reason. I don't know. No. All right. No, right. Too, much, too much at stake for LeBron. Matthew, what, what's, Matthew's going to say sweep or something. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix has arguably been the best team for the whole season. They've sustained yeah. success. CP3 has made shots when they need it. Devin Booker yeah. balling out. Mm-hmm. DeAndre Ayton is an animal. I'm going to chalk up yeah. at least some of AD's struggles to just good defense. And Yeah, I would too. And I'm going to say Phoenix in five. I think, I, I think LeBron is good enough to get one, but LeBron's not 100%. Anthony Davis just coming back, probably not 100%. And I think Phoenix is just – they're gelling right now. They're in a groove. Yeah, they are. They, they hit shots. The, I mean, CP3 and Devin Booker in the backcourt, like they're not afraid of any big moment that's going to come their way. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I, I think I think it's just going to happen. That, yeah. I mean, that's a, it's kind of bold to only say LeBron's going to get one, but they've already played in play play-in games, so they're a little more tired than Phoenix maybe, so – Right. But I think I think they're just too good for for LA. Yeah. I mean, especially that was Devin Booker's first ever playoff game and he shot 50%, 34 yeah. points. That's crazy. <laughs> and DeAndre DeAndre Ayton had 21 points and 16 rebounds and missed one shot. Oh my god. Like so I mean, hey, they very well could. I'm not going to I'm not going to put it past them, but I just think it's I don't know. I can't count out the king. That's what I'm in my head. <laughs> I don't think any of these games will be a blowout, but I think Phoenix no. finds a way to, to win to win five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is maybe my most intriguing matchup. 76ers in Washington. I I mm-hmm. love this matchup because I think I forget who said it, but they were like, we always question um like the mental capacity and ability of the 76ers with Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid, they always play well in the regular season, but that something happens in the postseason. And then you're looking at the other side of Bradley Beal and Russ, who those two are locked in every game. Yeah, they're going to go mm-hmm. at you. They're going to come for your throat. And so they're them, yeah. them and Jimmy Butler, like those are, those are some scary dogs, dude. And so <laughs> dogs, little, little yeah. dogs. <laughs> I don't I never count out Washington. So, I think that's an intriguing matchup just, just based on like just mental states of both teams. And yeah. I, so, what do you think? Yeah, Matthew, you, you, yeah, you're going, what do you think? I think it's going to go to seven and I think I'm going to go with Washington and seven. I think if it, if it gets there, I think it's going to happen. Okay. I, yeah. I, I just like the way that they've been playing lately. I know mm. the 76ers are probably the more talented team with more depth and, but Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, haven't done it. Bradley right. Beal, Russ. The first, the first game was – Yeah. The first, first, game, was, first uh, game was a seven-point game. Yep. Uh, right there. Oh, I, keep asking, I keep asking you guys. I got a little right here. 125, 118. Yeah. Yeah, they were leading at the half, too. I looked at Max. I was like, what the hell is happening? Yeah. <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> I mean, you look at it, and it's the 76ers who who played really well during the regular season. They're the one seed. Washington's the eight seed. They had to do the playing game. But, I mean, I think Washington's playing pretty good basketball. I mean, they destroyed the mm-hmm. Pacers. They, so they cooked they us. Something right. No, they cooked us. My Don't God. remind me. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Max, what are your thoughts then? Um, I mean, I agree with you. Bradley Beal and Westbrook have been cooking recently, especially against the Pacers. But <laughs> they they have been playing really well together. I just don't think they have the the, the squad for it, the depth for it. Which, and I think what did Ben Simmons have? Ben Simmons had oh my god, I'm just not seeing this. Six points, fifteen rebounds, fifteen assists. So like, if he can find a way to get more points. And Joel Embiid continues to get 30. Tobias Harris went off for 37. Like, he probably won't do that every game. But, like, he's he's a reliable scorer. I think I think 76ers should, should win comfortably. 
I don't think I don't think it'll go to. I think I'd say seventy six ers in in uh, in five or six. Yeah, I, I, I can see that happening where all the games are close, but the seventy six ers kind of just yeah. They and I always forget Tobias Harris is on that team. You know, he's just the third dude that, but he's he is a solid player. Like he is, and and Seth Curry too. Yep, George Hill, mm-hmm. Dwight Howard, Danny Green. I saw a tweet the other day. It was like, I'm so glad Curry's back in the playoffs. And I'm like, what do you mean Steph's not in? And then we just <laughs> <Taj's>. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, I say, mm, I'll, I'll be firm. I say 76 isn't five. All right. Alex? I was going to go with five or six. Since he went five, I'll go six. I'll give the Wizards their two home games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, literally everything Max just said. I was literally just going to say 76ers have just the better supporting cast. It, but, but Westbrook didn't get and, a and Beal's playing with that, with that hammy still, oh, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. But still, he had 33 points. Like <laughs> – I think I think it will go to five. Actually, I'm with Max. I think it'll go to five. Yeah, Ben Simmons, six points. Bomb. Casual. Good. Casual. 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 Well, he did, he did get 15 rebounds and uh, assists. It's pretty good. Yeah. Still. Yeah. Okay. How do we feel about Knicks and Hawks? Atlanta. This series going to seven. Yeah. So when you first said this is my like this is my series I'm most interested in, I thought you were talking about this one because I really like this series actually because it's so balanced. It's yeah, yeah. Evenly matched teams, I feel like. I have no idea who will win this because if the Knicks were shooting like they did last night, I'm gonna say Hawks. <laughs> but and Trey Young is Trey Young is a dog too, honestly. I sh- what did he, he say? What he did he the, say? He the, the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He told he told the stadium the he said it's too it's quiet in here now. Yeah, so. it's been quiet in here. <laughs> that was good. But I don't know. I think I just think the Hawks have have they're better offensively going forward than the Knicks, even though obviously the Knicks are a better defensive team. And Julius Randle, what he's done this year has been crazy. Obviously the most improved player, like no challenge <laughs> from any other player. But I don't know, it's tough. It's super tough, especially since it was a two-point game and it literally came down to the wire, like 0.9 seconds left in the game. So, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. I got one. <laughs> yeah, you got right, Alex. Yeah. Well, Knicks, Knicks win in seven at the Garden. Yeah. I think they move on. They were – yeah. I'm... They didn't shoot the greatest last night, and they still only lost by two. That's fair. Well, they started off terrible, right, Max? You told me they were like zero for twelve or something. They were two for twelve, like six minutes in the game or something like yeah. that. Yeah, that's like yeah, that was bad. I want the Knicks to win, just but they've been out of it for a little. bit. It's nice to see the Knicks in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, you, you and Spike. Yeah, true. <laughs> All right, who's who's got one, Max or Matthew? Um, both on the fence. <laughs> I dude, I don't know. I I'll say the Knicks in seven as well. I want to say Hawks, but I think it just proved that they had a pretty brutal night the other night, and mm. and they still only lost by two. Right. So we'll see. I mean, ultimately, I think it comes down to this next game and to see kind of what happens because they got to at least get one in Atlanta. They have to. They have to. Right. So it'll it'll be interesting to see. I think we'll we'll know for sure. I think in this next game, I think it's really difficult to come back from two zero. Oh yeah, super difficult. Mm. See, my – okay, I think I've got it. I think Hawks either in six or Knicks in seven. Like, if it goes back to – if it goes back to the Garden, yeah, I think Knicks, Knicks have to win, so. That's what I was between as well, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's just – it's a really good matchup, though. It really is. Because I could see every single game being like this, like being like this close, this intense, and, you know. It'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Jimmy Buckets in the Heat against Yanni and the Bucks. Alex? First game was tight. OT, right? I think so. Yeah, OT. Jimmy was trash, too. What? He shot He shot terribly. I mean, he made that clutch. He made the clutch layup, right? Or the clutch he shot. shot. Oh, yeah. He shot four for 22. That won't happen again. Yeah, no, he, he imagine won't like, imagine if he makes just half of it. Like, 
they're gonna win. Yeah. I want the Heat to win. Oh. Who want to win? The two. <laughs> <laughs> this is like one of those. Like I'm. I was thinking with the Hawks and the Knicks. Like I would think in my head, like every team's gonna win their home game, and it's just gonna depend on that last game. I think he take this this next game tomorrow night or tonight, whenever it is. Um, I think it's tonight. Is it? Yeah, it's tonight. Yeah, it's tonight. Yeah, seven thirty. On TNT, no promos though, no free ads. <laughs> no promos, yeah. Hey TNT, <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. Oh God, this one's tough. I don't know why. The, I feel like this is the toughest one for me so far. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna count out Jimmy buckets. I'm gonna go Heat and six. <laughs> Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and I got a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Mac, what are your thoughts? Um, yeah, I so I think the Heat are gonna win. I just don't know. I think, yeah, I think they're gonna win tonight. I could see them winning in five, honestly. Just because I could see it really being a repeat of last season. Because especially how Yanni was talking. Did you, I sent you guys that thing on Twitter when he was like, oh, I don't think much is going to change from last year. I was like, well, that's a great mindset to go into it. When, yeah. when Jimmy Butler looks like he's ready to kill someone. <laughs> like, like, I don't know. I say he in five or six. Jimmy said I'm stupidly locked in right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Got my vote. <laughs> <laughs> so I take back my Jokic. Jimmy Buckets is definitely my guy. I was going to say, yeah, say that's your boy. Yeah. I, I, he is the one bull. Like, obviously, Derrick Rose hurt to see leave, but he got injured and all that stuff. Like, Derrick Rose yeah. will always be my number one. one. Yeah. Jimmy Buckets, dude. I love this yeah, dog. I was going to say, he's different. Yeah, he he's is. He's fun to and, watch, too. And Especially he, in the playoffs. He went down to Miami, and he said, this is how I am. We're going to put the – we're going to get a bunch of dogs together. Yeah. We're really? going to go out and we're going to fight everybody. Like, mm -hmm. and, and I love that mentality. Basically, if you're just looking at who's the better team, Milwaukee should win. But it's because everybody's locked in in Miami. Jimmy Buckets has got them waking up at 2 a.m. to go get shots up. You know, right. they don't need sleep. Eat, drink, mm -hmm. sleep, basketball, baby. They're in the gym. Seriously. They probably have sleeping bags and just sleep in the lane. <laughs> <laughs> in the paint. <laughs> the paint, baby. That's where they live. So I'm gonna I'll also take Jimmy Buckets and the boys in six. Oh whoa, what all those heat fans. I just don't think the Bucks can do it. What <laughs> like so Oladipo was playing? That could have helped. Like what maybe five or something. It doesn't hurt, yeah. I'd but, say yeah, if, if all if Vic was playing, I'd say I would have said he in five. <laughs> They got Udonis Haslam to come in and start a fight if they want. <laughs> I bet he and Jimmy were best friends. I'll probably, yeah. I'll probably love each other. <laughs> Bam. They got Udonis, Haslam has been, Udonis Haslam has been in the league as long as we've been alive. <laughs> NBA legend. Just kidding. Yeah. Just kidding. So when we say, I say <laughs> like the Bucks, I think they're just coached so well because, Matthew, when you were saying, like, oh, like, at the end of the day, Bucks are, like, the better team. But when I'm, like, looking back and forth at, like, the names and stuff, like, if I didn't know anything about – I don't even know. I would just pick the Heat to win. I just think they have better players all around. I don't know, though. I don't know. You got Drew Holiday, Chris yeah. Holiday, Chris Middleton. Those, those three guys are better than whatever the Heat are going to throw out. Like, no, right, yeah. not Jimmy and, and those guys. But, like I – think, I think so highly of Jimmy. It's like I put him on – I put him up there damn near. Okay, so. but Yanni, Jimmy. I know, but – I yeah, I get it. I don't know. But, yeah, Heat and Six. <laughs> There's a lot to be said for team chemistry and stuff like that and how, how they're meshing. Like, I mean, you, Milwaukee changes their roster every year to try to build around Yanni and hasn't worked so far. So, worked the guys always Jimmy, cycling in there. Jimmy's established. Jimmy comes in and everyone's, everyone's playing well. Yep. Like, So, what does that say about places like Minnesota and Philadelphia where, oh, he was too hard and – Oh, he was a terrible um, teammate. Everybody in Miami loves him. I they were I think it's like that heat mentality or whatever. I don't know. Like I've heard that before. I don't know where I've seen that, but like like his mentality, his mindset of basketball fits perfectly for like that culture that they have at that on that team. Whereas maybe 
Minnesota and 76ers were just too soft. I don't know. <laughs> like, and I don't know how how well he got along with, with Thibodeau when he was there. And who was the coach? At? I think he liked Tibbs. Oh, okay. Because he was with the Bulls too. Tibbs was with the Bulls. Okay. Or maybe, maybe it was just, it was probably all the players because remember he took all the, the yeah, third, third team right? or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So it was probably just like him talking a lot of crap and like Cat and all those other guys like not liking it or not. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, dude. Jimmy took the the three of us on his squad and said, we'll still be. Said, hey, he let's go beat him. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then he still hasn't let it go because at the end of the season, when they played each other, he was telling cat that he still saw. Yeah. He still like, saw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would too. Honestly. Boy, have to. All right. The last series left um, Brooklyn and Boston. Max, what do we think? Uh, nuts and four. Alex. Yeah. Nuts and four. And nuts and four. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> Oh. let's uh let's give some predictions here we've we've broken down every first round matchup max who do you think meets in the finals and ultimately wins it oh man okay so <clears throat> well one of the teams for sure the nets i think the nets will the nets will make it it's just the west though it's picky because <clears throat> honestly okay let me honestly whoever wins the Suns Lakers will go to the finals. I think. I agree with him. I was literally going to say the exact. <laughs> I think whoever, but I'll, I'll pick. Since I said Lakers will win, I will say it'll be a Lakers Nets final. But I just, ah, uh, end of the day, it is Kyrie Irving, James Harden, and Kevin Durant, <laughs> and Blake Griffin, and Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan, and DeAndre Jordan. Yeah, and, and yeah, coach, and Joe Harris. And Tony is your assistant coach. I I think sadly the Nets will win, and I'll say I'll say seven, Nets in seven. Alex, uh, yeah, I'm in the same boat as him. I was gonna go whoever won that Suns Lakers series, as well. I was back your boys. Come on. What the Trailblazers? Come on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe they'll go to the – I don't know the whole – where they'll meet up at. I can't think of that at the top of my head. But maybe they'll go to the Western Conference Finals. Would, would that happen, Matthew? Portland, yeah. Portland would meet L.A. in the next round. Oh, Jesus, never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going – dang. I, don't, I hate going against LeBron. But, oh, yeah, okay, I would put Nets in the final as well. I think that's obvious. Um, I would probably go Nets in six. That's five or six, probably six, yeah. Yeah, so barring any major injuries, I think the Nets just walk their way. Like right. they should. They're just going to dog walk the competition all the way to the finals. Literally. I think I, I think who, like, it'll be a sweep or in five each series. So, okay, I'll, I'll say Suns going to the finals. And I think uh, probably Brooklyn in six. Matthew, you want to give your Mavs a shout or – <laughs> um, I think they get out of the. I think they go to the Western Conference Finals. Who do they? Who would? So they would play. Clippers, um, then probably the, then Jazz or Memphis. Hey, especially if Donovan Mitchell's not there. Well, assuming Jazz go through, and if he's not back, I, I would I would take Jazz in that series too. I just I just like what Phoenix has going on. I think they're similar to the Heat in the East, where they've got that culture and they've. They kind of just all are on the same page at all times. So, so Suns Heat would be a good one too. I would love that. That'd be awesome. that, yeah, that would be sick. Actually, I wouldn't even know who to pick. <laughs> Suns. I'd take Suns at that point. I think. I still think I want Jimmy to win, but actually, no. I kind of want Chris Paul to get a title. Yeah, Chris Paul deserves one. <laughs> yeah, he does. I appreciate you guys joining me today. Cool. Yeah, of course. Always a pleasure. Up the reserve team. Up the reserve team. Darn right. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for joining us for this episode. Um, Don't forget, you can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and anywhere you get your podcasts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and comment down below. Thanks, guys. We got Iguodala. Iguodala. Come on.